All right, so today uh, the weather's looking really good. Our, this is gonna be our first huge trip of the year where we go out and try to find as many snakes as we can in all our board lines. So we're hitting the inland, um, the mountains, and then the coast, and we're looking for king snakes, southern civic rattlesnakes, gopher snakes, ringnecks, you name it. So um, let's go see what we can find. Alrighty, so how we do this, so you have boards, and you flip them, and under here, snakes or reptiles or whatever life lies under them will be right here. Usually you'd want like a hole under there, and that will make it a lot easier to find them. These two are the best. These ones just in case. Oh, that one's not too bad. I don't like it right now because the sun hasn't hit these boards yet. So. What you want to see from boards, here when we take a look at this one, what you want to see when you flip the boards is these holes. Like right here, it shows uh, rodent activity and that's perfect for snakes because snakes go into the rodent burrows in different places or here and can come up under your boards or they um, come so they're in here to actually find the rodents and eat them. Just pointing at me. All right, so we're just gonna just do a little flip in here. That's actually a pretty good board. All righty, work our way. Spencer, board. <laughs> I'm all looking around. <laughs> Okay. Oh wow, that's still pretty. It's a uh, pretty decent yeah, it's section. Yeah, still pretty wet too. Yeah. Interesting. Camera on us. Going this way. We go that way. Our shoes are gonna get destroyed. Yeah. Oh wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Nothing. Isn't that uh, that board from a while ago around here, or is it back there? It's back there. I know it was hidden. Stuff has All right. Dude, it is a lot wet. Of them, a lot, it yeah. is really wet. It is. A lot of the boards got clogged just right here. Oh, sick. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. It's a worm, so if anyone cares about that. Almost a blind snake. <laughs> Gosh, where's that one board? There's one board. Let's check this out. Decent board. Isn't this it? No, there's not those few. Uh, always keep a close eye because sometimes you don't see them. Mm. I like this hole though. Yeah, it's good. Mm. That one. Grasshopper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> Bro, I just found this little skink rolled in like a taco shell. <laughs> Look at this. No. Dude, he's he was like in he was chilling in this taco shell. Let me get a look at it. Dude, check this little guy out. The skeleton skink. Yeah. They're really nice common here. Tail. Not too shabby. So this is this is my tin line, um, and it got super burnt in the fire, but it still kind of produces. So check this out. So here um, we got right here toad, Pick right there. Check this guy out. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So who knows? You can get some toads. There's a seasonal pond um, right below it, which is nice, um, and you'll get some toads, gophers, rings. Uh, some Hellerai, you know, decent stuff. Oh, oh. All, right. all right, but let's uh, let him go back under the board. All right, let's keep going. All right, keep not, going. This isn't the nice snake board line, but it's a pretty crappy board. Believe it or not, this right here gave me a night snake. Lizard? Yeah, the night snake was right there. I have no idea why it was there. Oh, scorpions. two scorpions. Oh Three goodness. scorpions. Four scorpions. Five scorpions. That's Dude, there's five scorpions here. I don't know the species, but... Yeah, neither do I, but there are five scorpions. Six scorpions. Okay. Cool. A lot of scorpions. So, uh, six scorpions under this pretty pathetic board. Alright, so this right here is a little California king snake. They get uh, a lot bigger than this, but this is a very small guy. Probably clutch of the year. Um, this is our first snake of the day. Uh, it's been it's been rough. I thought I thought today would be more productive. Um, if you saw that right here, he um, kind of started to wiggle his tail. He does that as a 
protection device, I guess, uh, to imitate rattlesnakes. These guys are actually re resistant to rattlesnake venom, and if they're big enough, they can actually eat rattlesnakes. Um, their main diet is rodents, but they can eat any snake in California um, and anywhere that they live for that matter. So. right here is a San Bernardino ringneck snake. They're actually rear fanged and mildly venomous, although they can't do anything to us. One, their venom's not potent enough, and two, they can't really bite you. Um, right here, if you see this little curl of the tail, can you get a look at that? That's a defense mechanism. When, when they'll start flaring it and moving around as a distraction from their head, so if a predator does happen to get them, they'll bite the tail, and then the ringneck will keep going and survive, even though they'll take a nice chomp. Um, they do that for survival purposes. They can vary in color a lot. Uh, some can be really black on top and really vibrant on the bottom. This guy, I say, is pretty average, um, but a nice size, actually. They're generally pretty small. Uh, oh, Harry, Jesus Christ, nice spot. Thanks, dude. I thought there were insects. Oh, that's all right. Can't really mistake it for much. First, let's do an automatic just for the... Uh, the next spot now uh, this is more like near the coast a lot of, like warmer climate or um, specific climates that stays the same year round pretty much so we have a better chance of finding snakes hopefully we find right now we're just going for like kings and gophers because that's like the main and uh, we're gonna see what Good we find example. all right um, so this right here is a San Diego gopher snake um, if you're wondering why he looks a little gray a little weird why his eyes are blue it's because he's in shed snakes that are in shed get this weird coat it's their old skin across their body and their eyes get blue causing their sight of vision to get a little weird sometimes this can cause like aggression and they'll try and bite you a lot but actually this guy's pretty chill um, uh, Spencer and I found this guy about a week ago before the rains and he stayed put I guess cuz he's waiting to shed um, there were some more gophers here maybe maybe we'll find him in shed as well I you do it, you ready? I am ready. Go for it. Go for it. Hey, it's that same red one. We're finding him now. So, so here's just another one. Yeah, we, we saw this guy last week. Look, check out his color though, nice and red. Definitely the prettiest go for it. Space. Heck yeah, we're gonna let him go. Yeah. Put him back under. Just... Yeah. Drop him in top side. We go. Back on right here. Right here. There you go. Just wait for the camera. Flip him. Right here. Go Another one. Snake. Heck yeah. This guy actually had a meal in him last time we saw him. You can tell a little bit. He's a bit thicker here, still digesting. Oops. Um, but we're just going to look at that. Good thing. The healthy guy. Good population to go for snakes here. All right. Alrighty, what are we doing today, guys? Dude, we're about to freaking go herping in the coolest place in the world. Let's just take a picture of this shit. And how we got here with my uh, trusty old Ram Rebel. Nothing special, just a just a Ram Rebel. Beautiful. No, that one's pretty trash. Grass looking pretty good. Oh, go for on the move. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Move. Clean little guy. Pretty standard, kind of like the ones we found at the last spot. Nothing right, too crazy. Start recording. All right, come on. Here, here. Are you recording? You go first. You start flipping. Okay, check this out. This is our heaven, by the way. Watch. All right, first board. We don't even know what's going to be on it here. Let's just give it a peek. No, that's fine because we have so many boards, it doesn't matter. This place is the greatest place in the freaking world. Yes, no, that's fine. They all look bad. A fire came through here. You know what? It's okay. Got ourselves a big Hellerite right here. That's a Southern Pacific rattlesnake. Oh. oh. All right. All right, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. 
All right, we're gonna get it out and uh, take some better pictures of it. Yeah. All right, so all we did was move them to a high point. Uh, oh, here we go. And get his head towards me. Yeah. One second, let me just tell where we got him from. All we did was pull him up from right there. Brought him up here, so we didn't do anything crazy. Right under here, this door. What we got? Wow. Wow, kind of smushed. But hey, it's a hell of a ride, right? Poke him. Um, same, uh, same type, Southern Pacific rattlesnake. Yep, definitely not gonna poke him. Uh, hematoxin venom. Yep. Hematoxic. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, no, there you go. Yeah. It's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Sick. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Oh, go, go for it. Get him oh. before he goes. Heck yeah. All right, keep going. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. Back. That's okay. Dude, I almost stepped on it. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice, man. My tandem. Oh. I haven't held one today yet. I held the crow. That's it. Look at that. Amazing. Red eyes. That was sick. All right, we're just going to let him go. Right back under. There you go. Okay, this is your home. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Out fresh. No previous film. Let's check it out. These boards never flipped these before. Oh, that looks decent. That looks, looks really good. Let's keep moving this way. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right, get on the side. Oh, there you go. All right, ready? And flip. Wow. Oh, my God. All right, I am. Oh, fuck, you just cut my hand. What? Uh, oh, it's just bug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, I'm sorry. It's fine, I got a tennis shot like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Nice board. Damn, it, feel really bad. Those, dude, are these boards really are like the good best boards. boards that are. Here, Spencer, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> here, check it out right here in situ. Let's that, pick him up. That hauler. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. And I'm really sorry, I probably just gave this man tetanus. But it's okay. Go for a sneak. It was quick. Hell yeah, bro. Hell oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. He's now. gonna bite you. Oh my god. A That's a big Oh my one. god, he literally has bugs <laughs> on him. Bro. Yeah, can you, uh. <laughs> here, hold, hold the camera. Hold the camera. <laughs> oh. All right, finally. On, uh, some pretty nice board right here. Sun going down, looks all pretty. Go for it. Alligator. Alligator. I uh think so let's do the big one. Ready? Go, go, go. He it was, it was getting cold. Yeah, he was he was going underground. He was just about done with the day. He he'd soaked up enough heat from these boards. Um nice little belly. Like Alright, so we just uh flipped this board right here thinking we really weren't gonna get anything. But this is a neonate gopher snake. This thing hatched really recently. Yeah. This is by far the smallest gopher snake I've ever seen. The thing the thing is like barely six inches. Like it's tiny. I mean this is freaking ridiculous. Harry, right, what do you think about it? Crazy. Yeah, hell yeah. There's our last snake. We're not even gonna touch him because we found so many. Alrighty. Um We've got 16 snakes today on a January, which beats our best day in January last year, which was 14 snakes. Today we got uh, uh, 11 gophers, right? Uh, two halari, a ring, and a king. Um, that's pretty damn that's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Give me some. Oh, yeah. Oh, Heck yeah. yeah. You too? Heck yeah. All right. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, have, have a great day, man. Now comes the hike back. Yeah. It's going to be a long hike. We're all dead, so it's yeah. going to be fun. All righty. Nice.